Hello there. As you already know, I'm the tourist. And greetings from Tokyo, Japan. They say you can't be in Tokyo without going, um, doing the go-kart. So today we here, my wife and I, look at her face. She doesn't want to be on, on camera, but look at her. Yeah, we're gonna go um, drive these amazing go-karts throughout the streets of Tokyo. Make sure before you come to Tokyo, go to AAA and get your international driving permit. You see it? And you need your passport. Be very strict with that, guys. Very strict. So make sure you go to AAA and get it. It only costs $20. Without this, you will not be allowed to drive. All right, so make sure you get it. Then you will come and have fun. And we're gonna do right now. Come with me. Once you walk in, you start seeing the go-karts in the little driveway slash garage. On the right side, you see this funny looking glasses, which you can wear for free whilst you drive the go-karts. I guess to make it exciting. This is the reception area where you check your driving permit and your passport. And of course, there's a vending machine in the waiting area. They also have lockers and of course, the costumes, which we opted not to wear. They also have souvenirs for those of you interested in the costumes, as you can see, they have a wide selection of them. Your choice. After the safety video, your guide will show you how to operate the go-kart. Then, after that, he shows you some hand gestures which you will need along the way. After that, it's time to go. The guide takes off first, then you all follow him in one straight line. Sometimes, for picture purposes, at stoplights, he will have you all pull up together. Please follow instructions of your guide because remember, you'll be driving through major streets next to all the big vehicles throughout the streets of Tokyo. You will drive through quiet neighborhoods and busy neighborhoods. And do not worry about pictures. Your guide will take pictures of you each time you reach a red light and at the end of your tour the pictures will be sent to your phones the whole experience cost Rosie and I $198 which included insurance so if you do the math it's um, less than $100 per person before we went to Tokyo, I checked all the websites and this activity was fully booked. As you know, it's a major tourist attraction in Japan. So I sent them a message through Facebook and they replied to me and that is how I booked it. Booking through them directly was actually cheaper than all the other websites. So I suggest you contact them directly on Facebook and do the booking. That way you can save at least $40 per person. Depending on what you like, they have day tours and night tours. But I chose the day tour because I wouldn't feel comfortable driving in the night in a foreign country, which I'm not familiar with. And for your information, in Japan, they drive on the right side. 
and we coming from New York, we drive on the left side. So it was a new experience to be driving on the right side. But it was still an amazing experience. We loved it. Driving rules in Japan require both hands on the wheel. Well, that's what our tour guide told us. But you can still take a GoPro with you to record your amazing experience. These go-karts are really fast. They can go as fast as 80 kilometers per hour. Once you start driving it, you're gonna feel a little weird because most likely it will be your first time driving a go-kart on the main street. But after a while, you will get used to it. And do not be scared because the drivers in Japan follow the rules and they drive very, very safe. Since the go-karts are so low, it makes you enjoy the driving even more. You even get to feel the little bumps on the road. guys like I always say all good things come to an end it was an amazing experience driving on the streets of Tokyo on a go-kart how was it it was nice yeah a little bit nerve-wracking but it was nice yeah driving around people looking at you taking pictures and people are actually like surprised to see you driving yeah, the go-kart you know yeah but um it was a nice experience I guess when you get a chance to come to Tokyo this man one of the must do's in Tokyo all right Thanks for watching guys.